Hey guys! Today we're playing Taz in Escape from Mars. Uh. Okay. On the Sega Genesis. And, uh. We got, <clears throat> got a friend here to help us play. Oh dear, he stole my Pew 38 space modulator. Starring Taz. Look at that. Look at that, like, Cthulhu looking creature. You want, you want to, you want the controls? Oh, I got my mic. You run the mic, alright? I, I got the controls, alright. Okay, I'm gonna press start. Escape from Mars. Start game. Maybe I won't waste your time as much in the future. Demos. We got a 10 minute demo here. That's all we're doing is a 10 minute demo. So, oh, the Martian teleports himself over here. I remember all this. Look at all this. This is a zoo. Rare earth creatures. This is like that Twilight Zone episode. Tasmanian devil. And he just throws the book away. Crazy. I'm flying around on Earth. Uh oh. Does he actually say uh oh? He doesn't say uh oh. Right into the UFO. Mars. So that's the first level is Mars. Boom. Boom. Ba -dum -bum. I love that. I love the music in this. It's really good, actually, for the time. Okay, Acme, of course. Okay, so B is spin, C is jump. A, I don't know what that does yet. So you can jump, wow, this is fast. I forgot how fast this was. I remember this being a pain in my tuchus as a kid. Uh-oh, die. So weird. Oh, jeez. It just turns into smoke. I smoked him! I don't know what kind of creature I stepped on there, but... Uh-oh. He, sh he blows bubbles at you. What is that? Eox o rocks? I think that's... Box o rocks. It's hard to... Oh, you can eat them. Okay. I don't know what I get for eating a box of rocks. I do remember this being weird. I forget how to get up there. You can get up there. I know you can. Pretty sure. Ah! Those darn birds. I remember those getting me- Oh, I just destroyed the food! That's the thing, if you go zinging all over the place, you can destroy that cheeseburger. Is this how I got up here? Oh, there's no fall damage. That's not how I got up here. This is a different place. There's a chicken. You have to remember where all these things are and how much health they have. I want to go over there and kill that guy, but I think at this point he's just a hazard because I can't get him. There's a health pack. That's the thing that's 100%. Dang. I think this is the way out. Now, I know you can eat those bombs. Oh! Dang, there's all those little rolly things that were on. Oh, a checkpoint. Dang, B button is sticking. I really need to fix that. Look at that, you never would have known that was there, huh? Oh, I hit the shrink ray, I'm tiny now. But it's a good thing I hit the strength, right? I don't think I can hurt anything when I'm this small. It's good because you can get into these little spaces. I <laughs> love that sound, it's so awesome. Oh jeez, I didn't have, really have a choice there. Oh jeez, wow. and, and it runs out after a while. Uh, 
Oh, does it run out when you get hurt? Oh, jeez. I think I remember those guys from something. I think... I think they were in an actual cartoon. I don't know about these creatures. Were they all in an actual cartoon? Oh, jeez, I just destroyed the cake. Oh, I forgot. You can go down through these. You have to hit... Is it no. Oh! I ate the box of rocks so I can shoot rocks now! Out my mouth with A! Not the spin button, which keeps getting stuck. It's C. Can I spit through walls? No. It just gets stuck in the wall. Ah. Dang. Lizard tongue thing. See, that, this is where the box of rocks comes in handy. You have to make sure you're facing the right direction, of course. I remember, like, really examining this game deep. I would just, like, look into all the possible ah, aspects of it. I would get stuck on the simplest levels. Oh, that does hurt you. How about the gasoline? Does that hurt you? You can go fire that way. I think it replaces your box of rocks, though. That's awesome. You can just go along the walls. And it does run out. You almost run into enemies faster. Okay, that does go through walls. The flamethrower goes through walls. So you can destroy those enemies. I don't know if that's a requirement of the game. I think you're just supposed to get through it. And I died. Go back to the checkpoint. That was a long ways. That was a long ways. And lost my box of rocks. My, my, my flame throw it off. No, don't eat it, Taz! My B button stuck. But now that I bounced in there, I realize that there's a thing here. And I'll just heal myself. I love this game. Look at the colors. If you don't get them the first time, you bounce right in front of them, and then they end up running you over. Silly. See, I ran into his bullet as I was attacking him. Alright. Just attack from above. He lands on me, out of nowhere! I have no idea if I can get up there. See, as a kid playing this game, if I saw some place like, ah, I wonder if I can get in, I would try for just hours on end. And sometimes I'd find some really nifty things. And the problem with video games is that they reward that kind of behavior. And then you end up growing up playing video games wrong. This stupid spin button. Ah, oh, I destroyed the... Wait, I don't think that was a real cake. I think that was a... I think I had a piece of dynamite on it. V button, please! I'm gonna leave it just like half stuck. No, it keeps on popping. I forgot where the gasoline is. Anymore. Oh! No, this is just really similar to that other level. Oh, there's gasoline hidden in there. I forgot about that. I really don't think you get anything from killing those guys. Oh, there's a cake up there. Yeah, I remember this. This looks a lot like... the beginning, is it? I always wanted to know how to go over to the right. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow, look at this stegosaurus thing. Oh, it's... It's like a stegosaurus meets a, a clam, or I mean a... Clam. The thing with pinchers, yeah, clam. <sighs> Crab. Music. 
You burn off his arm. That's really kind of dark. Just, oh yeah, I'm gonna send off your arm. I mean, it's a Warner Brothers cartoon, so obviously it goes back next week. Okay, so I found the way out. That's good. Exit. And it's been 10 minutes and 23 seconds. That was the first level of Taz and Escape from Mars. Marvin and I hope you enjoyed it. That was our demo, Matt, Taz in Escape from Mars. Uh, we will see you again next week. I'm Chris K. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Later.